For as long as I can remember, I've been fascinated by the night sky. That passion to explore the heavens above has led me on a journey to image the incredible objects of our solar system, galaxy, and beyond. Through this series, I hope to share my experiences with you as we go out to explore the night sky together through the joys and struggles of astrophotography. Our target tonight is the planet Jupiter. Ever since I first saw this planet through a telescope as a child, it's been my favorite object in our solar system to go out to observe and image. Every time you go out to look at Jupiter, you're pretty much studying a miniature solar system, with the Galilean moons moving at an incredibly fast rate as they orbit this massive gas giant with its cloud belts and great red spot being different in its orientation and perspective on an hourly basis. Let's head on over right now to take a look at the equipment that we're going to be using for our imaging session tonight. And we're out here on a beautiful night, crystal clear, to get some video of Jupiter. We've got the telescope right here, the three times Barlow lens, and the DSLR camera that's gonna be shooting at about 60 frames per second. The higher you can go with the frame rate, the better. The goal of all of this is to really break through the turbulence of the atmosphere. That's what you're gonna be fighting with on most nights when you're talking about looking at things visually through your telescope or imaging with your phone or a DSLR camera. So the faster the frame rate, the more we can pick out those crystal clear moments where the sky conditions are calm and there's no turbulence from any number of things in the atmosphere. We pick out those sharpest frames, we stack them, and then we process those maybe a couple hundred or maybe thousand or so frames that are the best that we got from a two or three minute video. So we're gonna to start tonight by actually finding Jupiter. It's a very bright object in the night sky, and we're gonna find it through the finder scope and then make sure it's in our video before we start recording our footage. So let's begin with that. Got it in the crosshairs right there. There we go. All right, let's turn on the camera. All right, there it is. All right. So what I like to do from this point on now that I've found it is pretty much video the planet as it drifts through the field of view. How long you can take your video is gonna depend on the planet that you're imaging. A planet like Saturn that has fewer surface details, you're gonna be able to get a longer video of maybe two or three minutes to stack together potentially tens of thousands of frames. For something like Jupiter, uh, the surface of this is constantly changing and it rotates at a pretty quick speed. So I'm gonna be taking probably a 60 to 90 second video at 60 frames per second of this planet to stack together those frames to bring out our image that we'll hopefully have at the end of the video. So let's start that process right now. Turn the camera back on. Get it lined back up. All right. Now I'm gonna to try to move it here to the end of the frame And then we're going to press record as it sails across the field of view. How long it takes to move across the field of view is going to depend on uh, the telescope that you're using. Uh, this has a 1200 millimeter focal length. I've got a three times Barlow lens on it, so we're looking at about 3600 millimeters. Um, the sensor of your camera has an impact on that as well. but. 
for what I'm imaging with tonight and for my equipment, probably two or three passes of Jupiter uh, that'll probably last about 60 to 90 seconds is what I'm gonna be working with when we get to post-processing. For this camera right here in the planet, I've actually found a sweet spot recently of about 60 frames per second shooting at 720p video. I'm not exactly sure why the video and the pictures look better of the planets at 720p versus 1080p. If you think you know why, please let me know in the comments section below. I could care less what the resolution is as long as it gives me the best image possible of the planet. Every step that I've been going over in this video is also available for you to check out in other videos, and I'll be sure to leave a link to those videos in the description below. So I've been out here videoing Jupiter for about 30 minutes now, doing different passes at about 60 to 90 seconds, trying out various resolutions, ISOs, but keeping the frame rate pretty consistent at 60 FPS. The next step of this process is to take all of these videos inside and to try to bring out the best frames that we can to get a final image of this incredible gas giant. So let's go inside and do the final steps of that right now. The beauty of Jupiter is how its cloud belts change on an hour-to-hour -hour and nightly basis. You never really feel like you're looking at the same thing every time you go out to observe or image it. For more pictures of the heavens above, please consider subscribing to this channel and following me over on Instagram. Thank you all so much for your continued support and clear skies from late night astronomy.